you know what the great thing about this is we are going to post this on youtube tomorrow but uh michael's going to take care of all this he's going to trim all that crap out and i'm great gonna, yeah so uh when you check this tomorrow you're so gonna let's be like, start it now dan okay so i'm gonna let, let's just three two one Welcome, everybody. It's Monday night, and uh, for all intents and purposes, we're going to say it's 10 o'clock, and, and you get to join us. And there's been nothing going on for the last 20 minutes as, um, yeah, nothing at all. So, uh, But no, here's the thing. Monday night, of course, we, we kind of teased this a little bit last week. We were going to do something kind of a little bit different. We wanted to switch things up. Um, no more of the old... Um, the old style, for lack of better terms, I guess we'll say. Um, Shaney's bringing something new for us. We want to know what is on Shaney's mind. And we might not call it that. But for tonight, that's what we're going to call it. We want to know what she's thinking. And uh, I promise you, there's nothing to be scared of. I promise you. Well, maybe a little bit. But it'll be okay. It will be okay. So, um... It's not gonna be our. It's not gonna be Shani's got five on it. So she's got one topic. If she's got twelve topics, it doesn't matter. It's all about the cool stuff. But tonight we've got one topic, and music. Right? We're talking music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Let's start off. What's our topic going to be on? So um, something really interesting for those that have like Sirius in their car or even know about like Sirius FM. Um, you can actually get it now without having a vehicle. Okay. So if you always wanted to have Sirius XM, you know, radio and the non-commercials and the stations and everything, but was like, well, I don't want to pay for it in my car or, you know, I don't really listen to that kind of stuff. I plug my phone in or, you know, there's all the different options now. Um, you can actually do it now for your like your phone and your iPad, kind of like what we're doing right now on our on our mobile devices. So this is kind of cool because now this is going to be people listening to more music while they're doing things and traveling and cooking and house cleaning and everything else because they don't have to be in their car to listen to the Sirius stations. So now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but Sirius also merged with Pandora. Mm -hmm. So they merged with Pandora back in February. So now it's gonna be a big thing with them and they're basically targeting the outside of the car type people. Okay. So they are targeting the people out vehicles that wanna have the Sirius XM um, station it's going to be called Sirius XM essential that's what it's going to be called and the basically way it just said the plan is built for listeners that have mobile phones tablets desktops um, in-home devices including if you have an Alexa if you have an Amazon Amazon fire t uh, TV Apple TV all those type of devices so they're really going for anyone that basically goes on like a mobile type device and they they have access to over 300 you know channels and this this is what the price breakup is so you guys know for the first 3 months if you're new to this it's going to be a dollar and then after that it's only $8 a month okay so let me honest I'm a little ticked um I so well the reason is I have Sirius okay so I have it and I have so it in my I. car but instantly, the thought that comes to my mind is, I'm definitely not paying you dollars a month. I, I forget what I'm. I'm no, you're right. Down. It's, like, it's like fifteen, I think. Maybe I'm, I because you renegotiate right. every year. You tell them you're going to leave, and then you don't, and they give you a, if they like lower the price, right. and so you get it longer. But what I'm, what I'm kind of ticked about is, really, what I have the option of is is pulling this up or doing the phone thing, and then just hooking my phone in. And I'm paying eight bucks a month as opposed to the, you know, 15. So. I mean, I know when I'm driving and I have like my crew in my car, if like we're going on a road trip type thing, they always want to like plug their phone into my car to listen to like Mixcloud and SoundCloud and all that kind of stuff. So exactly what you said, why wouldn't I want to cancel my subscription on my car, which I'm paying, you know, we'll say like $300 a year. And get it for, you know, $8 a month or maybe negotiate something and then just plug my phone into it and stream it from my phone. Yeah. yeah I mean, unless you need the internet, unless you need the internet connection, I don't know. 
But I mean, te- I mean, so technically you're going to be using your data from your phone, and so there would be some concern, I guess, there, especially if you use it a lot. Um, right. But I mean, that was that was the thing that was kind of interesting. They've had the they've had an app version of this now for I don't know about a year, and I mean, you said you have it, so you're familiar with the fact they were promoting the crap out of it. But it was also right. an additional charge on top of your subscription just to be able to use this, and now I could get in essence, both in, in the app for, for a heck of a lot less. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I mean, they, they basically said they're trying to reach the younger consumer consumer, which I get because they're the ones that plug their phone in everywhere and do everything on their phone. So we'll see what happens if maybe they're going to do a discount or something. If you already have it in your car, maybe you get this for free. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what what they're doing but i just thought it was very interesting because now people are going to be listening not that they didn't already listen to music on the go with pandora or spotify or whatever but now they can listen to all the serious stations mm-hmm. on the go whether it's radio whether it's talk show whether it's news they have all that so now you got more people listening to music that didn't really get to listen to music before and Notice that they're also coming in under this under the uh, Spotify and, and most of the other streamings by two bucks. So yeah, a l- little targeted action there for sure. So yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see um, when this comes out in the next couple months what what will happen with it. They have a you, you, they've already talked the initial. Do they have a rollout date? Which was, they don't. Um, they said it's going to be very soon, like very, very soon, because they're already telling you how much it is and everything. So okay. I'm probably assuming maybe like even um, June, July. Okay. I was going to say perfect. Month, like, <laughs> My contract runs out in like, July. I'm good. I'm yeah. ready. There you go. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> all righty. Uh, all right. So that's definitely some hot news that we definitely want to keep an eye on and, and see what's going to happen there. So. Uh, let's switch gears, sort of. We talked about music. Yeah. We're going to well, it kind of goes together just because you know, if people are getting it for the music stations and they're getting it, you know, to listen to like the hot music that's happening. And I mean, I know with mine, I do listen to the New York radio station. I do listen to the LA radio station, and I see what's hot in their top ten, and I listen to like the top stations. So because I listen to all of that, you know, now is the time where everybody's busy all djs are busy right now with with um with everything going on so i figure kind of like every week i start letting you guys know the current music like the hot current jams that are on the radio that if you do parties where you're really playing that current hot music to kind of be like oh i think i need to have the song or you know everybody's been talking about the song for a couple weeks i guess i should have gotten it so I'm going to let you guys know um, just a couple of, like, current tracks. And I've actually talked about, we've talked about a couple of these tracks before in the last couple of weeks. And, of course, the first one, uh, Dan, I think, like, you even brought up a couple of weeks ago because we were talking country, but is it country, but is it not country? You know, do we consider it country now that he has the remix with Billy Ray? But for those who have not jumped on the Old Town Road bandwagon, um, this is the, in the fourth week that it's, it's in the top 100. And when I say top 100, I'm even talking like it's getting requested everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you guys make sure you get your copy of either the original of Little Nas X or the, re- or the remix with Billy Ray Cyrus. And before I get into more music, um, kind of like when we say like, what's on Shady's mind? Well, this is what's on Shady's mind with music. Look, people. We all have different styles of music we personally like. Everybody does. Okay, I'm gonna stand on my soapbox for a minute. My biggest pet peeve is when DJs are saying, oh, that music is garbage, that music is garbage. That music is paying your bills. That music is what the people want at their parties. And if you keep making these comments, like it's garbage, it's this and that, then don't be DJing. I get it, like I remember, I mean, I don't personally remember because I wasn't around that era, when people hated disco when it first came out. I remember back then everybody was like, oh, God, disco, disco, disco. But guess what? Studio 54, all those places. It was the hottest thing that people were playing. So it's funny. Yes, we all have our types of music we like. 
but you got to be careful where you post. I hate this music. I hate this. I hate that. And what you're saying all over social media, because I'm hoping it's not on your personal page and it's in like a group that's a private group that nobody else is seeing or somebody's not screenshotting who's a rival and sending it to your prospective clients. I'm just saying, I'm not saying people are doing that, but you got to be careful. No, no, so, you, nobody, nobody's going to do that kind of thing. No, nobody would screenshot and try to get work from, you know, like bottom feeder work now. But I get it. You don't like the music. You don't like what's out. You don't like mumble rap. You don't like this. You don't like that. But guess what? If it's going to pack my dance floor, I'm, I'm jamming behind the DJ booth. <laughs> Best thing ever. So, got, so that's why I'm going to help you guys, even though you're like, oh, God, I hate listening to it. Well, we're, Dan and I are going to let you guys know what's hot right now so little nas x old town road if you haven't gotten it yet you gotta make sure you have it and pick it up quick i, I have a feeling that um the younger crowd this is it, they're gonna move on past it i, I think we've only oh, got yeah. maybe a week or two left with with the younger crowd but uh, it's been on for four weeks now right so it has so it's been on for a month so i'm saying probably by the end of may it's just gonna start dropping yeah. to the point that the summer hits are going to start coming up. But I could see, I could so see. So be a cool DJ and play it now. Well, but what's funny is I could see that song actually working this summer at weddings with some of the older crowd. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like right oh, yeah. now there's still kind of whatever about it, but I could see totally like a, a June wedding, even a July wedding, you throw that on and your really young crowd is going to be like, okay, I'm tired of that. But your, but your older crowd, their parents, their, you know, their older brothers and sisters, the ones who are really getting married and, and their closest friends, they're going to be the ones that are going to be like, oh, yeah, this is great. Um, I, I just the, kind of a, the way the trends tend to go with it. Yeah, I mean, Jesse just said it's like he's out in West Coast. He's L.A. And he just said it's all over every radio station. And I, and I like that he said each radio station, meaning, and I'm sure this is what he's meaning, it's on the top 40 radio station. It's on the urban radio station. It's on all the radio stations. So, again, if you didn't jump on it a month ago when Dan and I talked about it, you got to make sure you have it now for these these couple of like weeks coming up because it's like I said, it's going to start dropping. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So what else do we All keep right, an so eye out for? The next song, I, I think I brought, I, I remember if it was last week. Did I bring up BTS last week or was it the week? No, it was before? last week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys. I know you guys know my feelings on BTS, especially when we watched when we watched the Billboard Music Awards last year. But their one song, Boy With Love, is the hottest song. You might not understand anything but the chorus of Boy With Love and and when they go da 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 or whatever they do. <laughs> don't make me pull up those lyrics like I did for the last one. But if you're doing those teen events, if you're doing those younger events um it's hot they're hot i actually they're actually and i didn't know this till somebody posted it on my business facebook page but she's flying into chicago she doesn't live anywhere in the midwest she's flying into chicago with her daughter to come to the bts concert this weekend that's how crazy bts is there i was like oh why <laughs> but I, I will say i will say this i, I will say this so i I, I was all prepared, all right? So, th so this past weekend, I had a prom. I had Blackpink, and I had BTS. So the two the two K-pop groups, uh, the one female, the yeah. one male, that, that's really blowing up. Um, yeah. And I had it all set. I played Boy With Love, and no joke, they went. So what I found, what I, what I talked with a couple of friends of mine afterwards, what their thought was, not whether this is true or not, but they tend to be more with the trendy teens. So ones that ones that are a little bit more um, into a pop scene, into more into um, what would be kind of the equivalent of when Justin Bieber kind of came on the scene. So they're, okay. they're more in that line. Than, so like the, I call that like the bubblegum pop. Yeah. People. Like call that the ones that when I do my team parties – they either on their no request will say Justin Bieber or they love Justin Bieber. Right. It's like one of those. So yeah. Yeah. So 
And so it just... Got, so with BTS, just have it. So if you get requested for it, if you're doing those type of teen events, you at least have it, especially the one with Hasley, the boy with love. With, with that one. And I know Jesse just said, that's crazy, Jesse. I know he just said that they have a merchandise line at the Staples Center that's two blocks long. Not for concert tickets, but for merch. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. BTS. Yeah. So that's going to be a summer jam for that mm -hmm. type of crowd. So definitely just have it in your arsenal. So you, you have it if you get requested for you, and then you don't have to worry about trying to get it, you know, on a Spotify or download the song while you're at the event and you, at least you just have it, you know, like I said, make those Shaney folders. If you have like the hot garbage folder for this and for that, that could go in your teen hot garbage folder and just put it, put it, put it in there. <laughs> you yeah. have it. You have it. Well, and, and the funny thing and is, the you video know, dropped in the, when the video dropped last week too, it, it even went up the charts and their album is number one right now. Yeah, they just dropped Which their is, album. Is, that between that, the fact that Halsey is on the track and everything else, I really expected. Like I was expecting a completely different reaction than what I did. But I mean, how she like just does the chorus with them, which is like so weird to me. Yeah, like I yeah. thought she was going to be like a you know like a featured type artist, and then like when I saw them perform at the Billboard Music Award, I was like, hmm. Yeah. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> but all the power, I mean, I get it. She's getting it from both sides now. Now she's got the crossover fans, mm -hmm. you know, that she didn't have. And now they're getting her fans, which they don't really need. But now they got it. So they got extra fans. So I'm not mad at anybody who's a hustler like that to do those type of songs. So I'm not mad. I, I still got my T-Pain microphone. So if anybody wants to call me and have me on their track. I'm ready before we do the jazz album. Oh, before? Are you kidding? Well, just a feature. I'm just a feature. It's going to help Only... us. We'll That's right. You're going to bring gonna... their fans. You're going to bring their fans over to us. Okay, I follow. It's going to help us. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're done with BTS. So the other one, and I talked about this last week as well, is Taylor Swift's new song, Me with uh, Brandon Yuri from Panic at the Disco. Um, I know I told you guys, you know, how she dropped the video during the NFL draft and everything with the great marketing and everything. Well, guess what, people? It is on the pop song chart. It's on the adult pop song chart. It's on the adult contemporary chart as well. So all those Swifties, is that what, is that what her fans are called? Swift? I don't sure. know what they're called. I'm just calling them Swifties. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I don't know. So now you've got the teen Swifties, and now it's on the adult contemporary chart as well, and the adult pop chart. So now you got those as well, too. So I'm sure it's kind of like the teens and their moms oh, type yeah. thing. So make sure you have that song right now. Spelling is fun. <laughs> Every time I hear that song, that's the one line that sticks out to me every time. Spelling is fun. Yeah, so that song's just called Me, M-E. That's 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 the song. Yeah. It's fun, it's yeah. catchy, it's you know, it's it's lighthearted. It's a, it's a, it's her old like shake it off, like her old Taylor Swift type, you know. Yeah. That that they'll wanna sing and jump around to it and everything and sing all the words. And it's clean, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Yes. Yes. All right. The number one song uh, right now is um, is the trio that the brothers that came back, and now that they're all married, they decide, well, two of them were married, and then I guess after the Billboard Music Award, they all went to the Elvis Chapel, and the third one got married. So um, now they're all married, but the Jonas Brothers have the number one song right now, and it's called Sucker. And there's some great remixes out as well. So I know with me, if there's a great remix out of a slower type song, I love throwing that into my dance sets. And I even play it at the clubs and stuff too, because it's got that like, you know, 120 beat to it. So make sure you guys have Jonas Brothers Sucker. It is number one. It's going to be there for, you know, a while until, I don't know, BTS gets another song going or something. 
Well, here, actually, I will say. Well, first off, before before you go down that road, um, do you remember the the remix that you tend to like? Do you remember whose remix it is? Um, I can pull it up if you want me to. Yeah, I'm just curious. All right, and then while you're doing that, the second thing I want to say is, um, I actually wouldn't be surprised to see that fall off pretty quick, and, and not Sucker. just because, yeah, because one of the things that I noticed. They've already released the next one, the the follow up, which I think is cool. Um, and usually, now depending upon, but usually some a, a group like that and, and some of their management tends to follow the traditional line of line of thought, where as a song just starts to come down, the other one's coming up. So it hit one. I don't think it's gonna. I have a feeling like they've already seen some some fall off. Well, that's the thing. It's hard when those tracks go right to number one, where yeah. they're not going from like ten to eight to you yeah. know to four to and because th this one, bam, went right to number one. So I totally agree with you with that. That now it's the hottest song. So be the cool DJ, play it, play it right now for the next two weeks, and then I'll let you guys know. Like you know, this is just going to be down here when you're trying to figure out what to play and you don't have the pit bull holder like I do. And you could just p punch in Jonas Brothers Sucker and, and, and do that one. So, yeah, I agree with you on that. Definitely. So were you able to find out who it was? Okay, so I have three, re I have three remixes. Okay. <laughs> of course I did. Yeah. yeah <laughs> um, I just want. I'm going to say probably for me, it might be the Cube Guys remix. It might be because I have okay. like a little thing in there in my Serato. So I'm going to say maybe that's the one I played this past weekend. That probably got the best. Because I think I played one every night to see which one had, since I DJ'd like Thursday to Sunday, since um, to see which one had like the best response, even though they were totally different crowds. And I think that one. But, you know, listen to listen to them and see which one like you like that has like the beat that you like, depending right. on the type of crowd you DJ for. So... Yeah, Sucker Jonas Brothers, get it now before it starts dropping. Um, and then the last one, even though this is a Latin song, it is um, on the pop charts, and that's Cone Calma. Mm -hmm. And I know we've talked about this, too. It's number one on the Latin charts, but now with um, the new remix that has Katy Perry on it, too, it's kind of jumped on the pop charts. I don't know if it's because she's in it or just the song is getting really popular. So that one is Daddy Yankee and Snow, and then the remix has Katy Perry in it as well. So that one is really a hot song. You don't have to have um, a Latino crowd to play it. You don't have to even be in like a reggaeton set mm -hmm. to play it or anything. This definitely is a crossover song um, to play in your pop sets. So make sure you guys jump on that bad wagon as well, because that's going to be on the that's going to be on the charts for for a couple weeks right now. Absolutely, it, I'll, to be honest, it, it, that's probably my my current like new favorite, if you want to call it. So like when it started here, because the first time I heard it was in a mix show, and if, I don't know if it was on like the Pitbull channel or if it was on um, the station in LA when they were doing the mix and stuff. Uh, but it was just one of those things. I was like, I heard it, and I was like, Oh, that's so cool! They they sampled Informer, and like the very first time I heard it, and I was like, Okay. And then I kept hearing it, and I was like, No, wait a minute. It's one thing to sample like a song, or it's another like that, or it's another thing to have like that song come into a mix. Like, oh, they threw it back for once. But then I heard it again, and I was like, Wait a minute, this is a different mix. Like, why is this song suddenly being played everywhere? And then I then I listened to it closer enough to realize, Oh, wait. The lyrics are just slightly different. It's not they, you know, they sample the same sound, but it wasn't the same lyrics. But it's it's Daddy Yankee with snow. Right. So yeah. But that's what I mean, like they, they brought snow in as opposed to just taking something and right. sampling it's, it. Besides take right, exactly. I'm like it's Daddy Yankee with snow. Like it wasn't just like when you, all of a sudden you hear that bass line, you're like, oh, okay, they sampled this. Oh, did he sample this one? <laughs> oh, okay, this is sampled. Yeah, you're like, because you're like, oh, that's a cool sample. Wait, hold on. Okay. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, Snow's in the song. Okay. <laughs> so my question is, do you play the new one with the Katy Perry in it, or do you just have just the Daddy Yankee and Snow one? I do the Katy Perry one. Yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've only yeah. played it once. I played it this past weekend. Um, it was kind of the first yeah. opportunity I really had to since it's come out. Um, the, the, response was, the response was kind of what I expected. It was a little new. 
um, in some aspects, and and it wasn't it wasn't quite quite the right. Yeah, I didn't mix it in the right spot. To it's think, it's going to be totally played all over the radio now. Yeah, like right now, it's, big yeah, summer. So that so big yeah. Summer. So make sure you guys get that song as well. If you don't already have it, please please get it. You could be the cool DJ. And with like, I don't know how many I just gave you. What did I give you? One, two, three, five, six, six, five or six. Make sure you guys get, you know, if you don't have the Old Town Road um, with Billy Ray, make sure you got that Boy With Love, BTS, put it in that folder just so you know if you have the right crowd when they start doing those sing-alongs and mm -hmm. you kind of know you have the right crowd. Taylor Swift, me, exactly that too, especially if you got those 40-something um, ladies there. It's it's on their charts and then sucker right now play it before it starts dropping and then come calm off those those are your hot songs from us to you yeah and if they bomb it was all Shaney's idea they say that a lot yeah kind of froze there like <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness all right so um, here's the deal. All right, that that's pretty much the show for tonight. So thank you very much for. Uh, Wait, should I tell you guys about a Vegas residency just just so you get your fill? For those that always watch the show that like are having like that itch, like oh. Shady hasn't told us the Vegas residency in a long time, which is like a week. <laughs> so so who is it? Who 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 do we have confirmed now? So the new Vegas residency that, of course, is going to be at Caesar's Palace at the Coliseum. Because where else would they be? Because where else would they be? Is and this one's kind of cool though. I might I would like want to do this. Is Sting? Okay. So it's not it's not till May of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's all mayor okay he's very excited about it so he's getting letting you guys know a year ahead of time that but how many people are going to read that and then think it's like right now oh <laughs> and, yeah and, and be like let's go to vegas we'll get tickets when we're there they'll be cheaper and then all of a sudden they go there and it's like i don't know zz top or one of the other ones that i talked about but um yeah so he is going to be there may but he's going to be there may june August and September. Oh, so quite a big spread out. Yeah. And the reason why that it's not till then is because he's actually on tour right now with Shaggy. Oh, still promoting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's got a new album coming out. So that's why it was all kind of put together. So if you're into Sting or if you're into the police, because he also said he's going to feature hits from the police okay. as well as his solo work, um, something to think about. So I had to just kind of, you know, every once in a while, maybe like once a month or something, I'll just throw in um, a Vegas residency just so you guys get your fix. Because I know those who always watch the show religiously are like, ah, okay, we got another Vegas residency to think about. <laughs> I, after all this talk of Vegas residency, I, I agree with Jesse that you need a Vegas residency. I need a Vegas. Need, I would love to have a Vegas residency. Yeah. We're still working on that. I would love it. I have some friends out there that have it. It's 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 tough, but I appreciate that. We'll see. You never know. You never know how my hustle's going. Well, you know, if I remember correctly, like every spring there's a trade show, so you we have a residency for you. It's just once a year. It's that it's that cool. That's once a year. That's right. For like three days. Yeah, you see me spin in Vegas. Yeah. It's just so I kind of have a little bit of a Vegas residency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of doing it like, I mean, we, a couple of ones we talked about, it was like one weekend for like, you know, three nights and they call it a residency. So, yeah, yeah you got yours. Yeah. There we go. We're, we're loose terminology here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah whatever works, right? <laughs> So on that note, uh, I think we will go ahead and wrap it up for this evening. Thank you very much for dealing with us. And, and for those of you that are watching afterwards, you have no idea what we went through in the beginning. Um, it was it was crazy. But what we found out, in case you ever want to know this for the future, with Facebook Live, you need to use the app, and then you can do what we're doing here with two people on the same screen. Um, you can do regular with the desktop, but you can't bring somebody on unless you're using an app. So. Um, so thank goodness us DJs have a lot of different instruments to choose from. 
<laughs> and I'm and I'm very I'm very thankful that uh, the people that joined us tonight, um, all of you that that stuck it out or joined in and out, I thank you so very much because you definitely yeah. Have thank you, thank you. Know. you. I we love our fans, so thank Absolutely. you, thank you, thank you. We love your support and everything. Good. So um, again, if you guys have any topics that you do want us to talk about, please you guys can message us in in every way. You guys know I'm all over social media. So you could, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, email, however you guys want to do it. But let us know. We're kind of, as John said last week, some of the shows are changing up and we wanted to kind of freshen up our show too. Absolutely. So you'll get some of my thoughts every week of what I'm thinking. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good. It's always good. Um, and, if we, and if we can really tick her off, maybe she'll really rant for us. Yeah, I think you guys like when I rant. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tomorrow night, just to kind of give you all a heads up, uh, Brian Red is going to be doing his show. Um, the links will be coming throughout the day at some point. So some of that, um, if you got the email yesterday, if you're the, well, obviously if you're watching now, you're in the insider group. But if you got those emails from John and, and that on Sunday, you you saw that the link is to come. So make sure you're checking that out. Make sure you're looking on the Facebook page and the group um, so that you know where to tune in for tomorrow night and Brian Red and all that good stuff. A lot of great shows throughout the week. Of course, I always say if you're not checking them out, you're really missing out. And if you're not an insider, if you're watching this afterwards, um, make sure you go to djntv.com forward slash insider. Get yourself signed up. And then when we do these kind of weird things where we decide to throw it in the group because John's in Vegas, um, you get to watch it live and you don't miss out on anything. So we definitely uh, encourage you to do so. And, it, and it's a, it's an awesome group of people that share and share and share. Um, and they're, they're really cool. We love you all. Thank you very much for taking your time to join us. Have a great night. We'll see you next Monday. Thanks for the love, everybody.